Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, August 27, 2016. Our words for discussion, authority or authorities. In Mark 127, and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commands he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. In Luke 7, 8, For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers. And I say unto one, Go, and he goes. To another, Come, and he comes. To my servant, Do this, and he does it. In Acts 8, 27-28, So he did, and who should be coming down the road but the treasurer of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace the queen. He had gone to Jerusalem to worship and was now returning in his chariot, reading aloud from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In 1 Corinthians 15.24, then comes the end when he shall be delivered up the kingdom of God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all the rule and all authority and power. 1 Peter 3.22 Who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of the God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. 1 Timothy 2.2 2, For kings and all that are in authority that we may lead in quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Now this word defined is the power or right to give orders, make decisions, and enforce obedience. The confident quality of someone who knows a lot about something or who is respected or obeyed by other people. A quality that makes something seem true or real. Jesus had the authority given to him from the Father to cast out evil spirits. The centurion recognized the authority that Jesus had been given from God. The Ethiopian had great authority under Candace, the queen of Ethiopia. In the end days, God will rule with all authority and power. We need to submit to God's authority as Jesus did unto death. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.